Halo, your second try with Wolf Gorlick, RSA edition, uh, coming to you from San Francisco. Today looking at time-based security and slowing down the attacker with things like calls and honeypots and so on and so forth. So, even out here in RSA, even hanging out, I'm still getting calls on my cell phone from people who are doing robocalls, right? Will you buy the siding? Will you buy this? Have you checked your credit cards? Do you know that you're available for? What are you voting? Uh, you get the idea. And I hate that. I absolutely hate that. So I usually just filter. If I don't recognize the number, I send a voicemail. Um, but, but there's people out there who come up with some pretty creative solutions for that, which I'll get to in a minute. The tip for you is when looking at solutions like this or when designing security uh, setups, you want to slow down the attacker so that you can have more time to get in front of them, to detect them, to respond. One of the ways to do that with cold calling is this new thing called uh, the Jolly Rogers Telephone Company. And basically what they do is they will answer the robocall and they will talk to it. Their robot to your robot. Back and forth. And it slows down the robocalls, right? If enough people had these things, the robocallers would run at a distance, get slowed way down, and therefore the cost of doing business would go up, the results would go down, and we'd all get annoyed less often. That reminds me of the uh, La Brea Tarpet. If you haven't seen the La Brea Tarpet, it was a honeypot where you get a scan, which the entire internet gets scanned, and you get a scan and it would slow down the response. Slow it way down. So these scanners would hit a La Brea Tarpet and just get bogged down forever. I mean, we're talking like days. I ran into one one time when I was doing a, a side project and it was telling me like a week to complete one IP address, right? Slows it way down. Now, if you think about that, the robocall example, the La Brea Tarpet example, and you apply it to your own security defense, where are areas where when criminals are breaking in, you can slow them down and then detect them? That could be a similar situation as um, the Libre Tarpet, or it could be something like giving them a bunch of files to go after that doesn't really matter, or it could be having several networks they have to go through to get to anything. The idea is, how can you slow them down so that your ability to detect and respond goes up? And when your ability to detect and respond goes up, if you think about time-based security, your security state's better, right? Because now you can get in front of it and you can respond, it can react. Got some ideas on how to do that? Hit me up in comments or on social media. If you're out here at RSA, say hello. I speak at uh, Thursday on encryption and the strategy of encryption. So, come back to that. Say hi. Hit me in comments. You get it. Cheers.